Let me introduce you to ClipPath Bay, which is my new Webflow app designed to make clip paths and SVGs as masks easier in Webflow. With the app open here, we can see we have a ton of options of pre-built shapes, which is where I'm going to start. And I really like this star here, and I think it might be nice as this fire badge. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this fire badge. And now we can see that it says clip it right here. But before I even do that, I know that this image is one to one. So I can set it to be five to five and get my updated preview here of what it's going to look like. You know, or we could say it's also one-to-one -one is how we want it. So you can also show outside the clip path and see what's going on here. But let's go ahead and click clip it. And we'll see that we've applied an inline style now to this fire badge of a clip path with the polygon. And that's shown down here, what we have right here. Now, if we wanted to maybe make the star a little, a little bit irregular, we can go ahead and do that simply by dragging the points. And I'm not gonna spend too much time with getting this exactly where I want it to be. I just wanna show you what we can do with it. So I'm just dragging these points and let's clip an ugly path right now. And actually it doesn't look too bad. So that's fun. And this is, you know, the design of this allows for me to be a little bit imprecise. Now, how about this other chili peppers thing over here? I think the design would look nice with some texture on this image. So I have an SVG of some spots. And from here, I'll go ahead and click on custom SVG and I'm going to use this pattern spots. And we can see it's kind of got this rough sort of cutout effect going on. And the clip path now is pointing to a URL with an ID of pattern spots. It's just grabbing the file name from the SVG that I uploaded. So now let's go ahead and clip it. And we can see that we have that clipped effect down here on our image. And we can see that the clip path is applied as an inline style, as a custom attribute. And the other thing to notice is that we imported the SVG here itself. What's really special about this app is it takes your path and it sets it from absolute coordinates to relative coordinates and it normalizes. What that means is that it maps it to kind of a one-to-one -one space so that your image and your SVG is totally responsive um, no matter what size you import it as. So that's really all there is to it. A couple benefits of using ClipPath are that we don't have to import PNGs which use transparency and can result in larger file sizes and therefore lower performance. We can expect our clip paths to scale really well to any screen size so we don't get any pixelation or resolution issues. We also can reduce our dependence on using design software as part of our workflow in building our website or making changes to it in the future. We don't have to re-export assets and things like that. We can just change the clip path. Lastly, you can even animate clip paths with CSS and JavaScript in some really cool ways. I have other videos on that, so be sure to check that out. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the app and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Bye-bye.